And the first one is the Azure Load Balancer, which is a regional based layer 4 load balancer I'll go through today. But within the GUI, when you've chosen the option to go with the Azure Load Balancer, or however you configure your Azure environment, there is another type of load balancer called the Cross Regional Load Balancer. And this is like the Layer 4 standard load balancer in the sense that it's a Layer 4 load balancer, but it's also used for load balancing across multiple regions as well. But the mechanisms of how it works is quite different, however, as it uses any cast and entry points into the Azure Backbone Network. So I've grouped these two together as they are actually subtypes of the Azure Load Balancer. And then there is the Azure Traffic Manager, which is a global DNS-based load balancing solution. Load balancing traffic across multiple regions, but using DNS to do this. So it relies on DNS to do its load balancing. The next one is the Azure Application Gateway, which is a layer 7 web traffic load balancer for load balancing web applications. And finally, there is the Azure front door, which is quite similar to the cross regional load balancer in terms of how it uses any cast and entry points. But it's a layer 7 load balancer, so it's got lots of layer 7 functionality built into it. And from the Azure web GUI interface, it can help you choose the correct load balancing solution for you. So by choosing the second option below, load balancing, help me choose. It will ask you a series of questions like if you're using HTTPS or not, and if you need to load balance across regions, and other questions before it helps you choose the correct load balancing solution for you. And the second image below shows the four different load balancing types and a summary for each of them.